Hello everyone. My name is Toshiki Aoki and I'm going to introduce Emo Balloon, a system to convey emotional arousal in text chat with speech balloons by my colleagues and me from the University of Tokyo. In recent years, computer-mediated communication, CMC, has become common in our daily life. However, the media richness theory suggests that there is limitation to the transfer of emotional information in CMC, especially in text chats. In text chat, only letters, symbols, and paralinguistic cues such as emoticons can be used, whereas the tone of voice, gestures, and facial expressions that are used to infer the other person's emotion in face-to-face -face communication are often not available. As a result, emotional communication can be hampered, resulting in misunderstanding. For example, in a situation like this, in text chat, good morning and good morning are sent in the same way. But as you can see from the tone of voice and facial expression, the emotions of the speaker at this time are completely different. Many methods to support the transmission of emotion in text chats have been studied in the past. Most commonly, emoticons and stamps are used in various text chat applications, and in recent research, speech balloon colors and fonts have been also discussed as alternative emotional cues. In this study, we focused on the shape of speech balloons, which are always used in text chatting, but do not function as emotional cues in present applications, and confirmed their effects on the emotional communication in text chats. Since speech balloons are traditionally used in Japanese manga to enhance the character's expressions, we began our research by analyzing speech balloon shapes in the Japanese manga dataset, Manga 109, and confirmed the relationship between the shape of speech balloons and the emotional arousal conveyed in the dialogue text. Next, based on these findings, we used the neural network Ashigan to construct a system that generates speech balloons corresponding to an input emotional arousal value. Then, to validate the system, we evaluated and analyzed five images generated by Ashigan using crowdsourcing. We found that the shape of speech balloons from the more round shape and to a more explosion-like shape has a linear relationship with the degree of arousal. Finally, we implemented Emo Balloon text chat system with Ashigan and conducted a controlled experiment to confirm the effect of generated speech balloons on emotional communication in text chat. The experiment was conducted under three conditions. A voice input emo balloon condition with automated speech balloon generation, a manual selection emo balloon condition, and a emoticon condition used as a baseline. In the condition where speech balloons were automatically generated, According to the voice input, we developed a text chat application using voice input. When the user speaks a message, application detects the speech content and the volume of a user's voice, and then automatically generate a speech balloon from scaled volume. Under the condition where the user manually selects speech balloons, we developed a text chat application with traditional keyboard text input. The user manually enters text and then selects the speech balloon that they think is most appropriate to convey their emotion. In the emoticon condition, we developed a text input text chat application that allows users to freely input emoticon in their messages, similarly to current popular text chat application. Each participant role-played a dialogue script of an emotional situation with a partner in a randomly assigned condition, and rated the emotional arousal and violence contained in each messages on a five-point scale each time a message was sent or received. As a result, when analyzing the difference in arousal evaluations between the message sender and the receiver, using either the voice input or manual selection emo balloon to convey emotional arousal, significantly increased the agreement compared to a text chat without any paralinguistic cues while emoticon did not show such a result. From the results so far, we found that emoballoon was more effective method to convey emotional arousal in text chat than traditional emoticons. In terms of emotional arousal evaluated by senders, 
We expected that voice input emobile would cause senders to produce messages with a higher level of arousal. However, we found no evidence that voice input would affect the sender's evaluation of the level of emotional arousal, unlike the two text input conditions. One possible explanation is that senders using the voice input emo balloon may have been worried about a type of negative emotional leak since the speech balloons were generated based on their voice rather than selected manually and their receiver were aware of this. This finding should be investigated in more detail in future works. Conversely, in terms of emotional violence, we found that emoballoon had no significant effect on sender or receiver evaluations, unlike emoticons. This indicated that speech balloons generated by emoballoon can be characterized as linguistic cues that can appropriately convey only arousal without affecting receivers' perceptions regarding the emotional violence in text messages. For more detailed results, please see our paper. Since we are freshmen, we have continued this research with the goal of communicating emotions over CMC visually to people with hearing impairments. Our research also highlights an opportunity to support emotional communication over various barriers in novel ways, including remote as well as cross-lingual communication. We hope that our research inspires others as well to search for ways to create a more inclusive society. Thank you.